Hi, I'm Robin. I'm the early childhood teacher at Good Start Early Learning um, North Lake Swing Street. We're a 75 place centre with 20 staff. We started our recycling journey back in 2015. Joining the Early Learning Centre Waste Minimisation Program has provided us with the infrastructure to support the implementation of recycling and organics programs such as Murph crates, organics caddies, a compost bin and worm farm. The Council also provide free evening workshops for Early Learning Centre staff to help train them and educate them in the correct recycling, composting, worm farming and waste avoidance practices. Each room in our centre is encouraged to recycle within their rooms. We also have a general recycling station in our hallway where rooms are encouraged to contribute when they get an overflow within their rooms. Parents are also encouraged to contribute. We try and collect small boxes, paper towel holders, bottle lids and plastic bottles because we find this is a really good avenue of using materials within our room. The children love creating craft um, out of open-ended resources with no purpose that we can reutilise again and again and again. We have decreased our total waste generation by 15% and we are now diverting 40% of our total waste from landfill. At our centre, we like to encourage families to bring in recycled materials from home, such as yogurt containers, milk bottles, bottle lids. We also collect as much as we can in the centre, so we can repurpose and reuse as loose parts over and over again. Um, particularly sandpit play, they're perfect for role play, such as home corner pretending to cook. We've reduced the total amount of waste we send to landfill by recycling plastic bags which we send to Redcycle, toner cartridges, batteries, mobile phones. Each room in our centre has a 7 litre compost bin or a caddy which they are encouraged to collect organic waste on a daily basis. Our centre provides foods, um, so every day we're getting fresh fruit and vegetables. The children on a daily basis take these caddies out to our recycling station, which is out in the car park, which has a tumbler and two compost bins. We have two working worm farms, which uh, we provide fruit to on a daily basis. The children are quite familiar with opening the lid, feeding the worms, making sure that the mat on top is moist. We use the worm juice that's provided by the worm farms as to provide nutrients for our raised garden beds. We accept donations from our families and the community so long as um, items are in serviceable condition. We like to reuse and repurpose as much as we can by the way of toys, books and other items. We also have a donation bin out in our car park where parents can donate unwanted items from home that it's collected and emptied weekly. We try to avoid and reduce the amount of waste we produce in the first place by repurposing as much as we can in the centre. Our centre provides food, our children in our service, so the company that provides that food when they drop off take the boxes away the very next day. Any containers that are unwanted are used within the rooms and all food scraps generated either are diverted to our organic bin or are collected for a family that has pigs. They come in and collect those that leftover food on a daily basis. We try and link all our sustainable practices to Indigenous perspectives, educating the children to understand that their connection to the land. The art piece that's behind me was actually done as part of an Indigenous workshop where we had an Aboriginal lady come in and talk to the children about ghost nets. Ghost nets are old fishing nets that are generally left behind by fishermen. They create waste on the beach. The Aboriginal people can actually use them not only to make shelter for themselves, but they can also recycle them and make beautiful artworks. This was actually woven by the children and as you can see there's lots of plastics and old fishing nets in there to create the masterpiece. These pieces here were actually in another Indigenous workshop that was done with the children. Um, the board was actually the old decking that was pulled out of one of our playgrounds. The de decking represents their connection to learning here at Good Start. Each child was able to put their handprint on to show their growth and learning and the Aboriginal symbols were incorporated to show that we all come together as a community and that we all go off on our different paths as we continue to learn. These cookies were made out of an old tree that was cut down out the front of our centre. We've repurposed them. We got the children to stamp the numbers on and put some flowers on and we just used them as a tool in kindergarten to help us count. And there's two sets of... Ten. Ten. The biggest change we've seen since starting the waste minimisation program, um, education of all staff within our centre, seeing a change of practice which is embedded with the children in the service and the, they are involved, they know what they're doing, they can talk about it, it means that they can take that knowledge home and spread it in the wider community. Thanks.